English Tim here. Today I'm doing the uh, the last four levels of Army Assaults. So if you're getting stuck, this is a walkthrough. I'm also talking general tactics as well. So if you're having troubles on any other levels, hopefully this will help. So you can see now I'm doing a level where gold is the key thing. You need to have more gold, you need to get to 300 before the other team does. Now it's really easy to get mixed up and say, oh, I'm in a battle with the greens and just start fighting the greens. You've got to remember your objectives. If you forget what you're trying to achieve, you're going to struggle. So I've got uh, two of the gold, they've got one, and there's one in the hands of, uh, of the neutral. So it doesn't matter if the neutral has it, it's still better if you have it. However, it still uh, means that I'm winning this battle so far. Now, one of the key strategies you find, if you watch now, they're about to attack a, a, a castle. They've killed most of the, more than half the troops. Now, I've used that as my opportunity to go and take it. They've killed most of the defenders. They've left it open for me to go and take it much more cheaply. Now, the other thing is try and skirt around these flame towers. You can see I actually had to go near a flame tower there. If I'd gone from the 11 tower to the 6 tower and then up, I might have been able to avoid it. Now, what I'm going to do here is I haven't got, I'm not going for the gold. Uh, I've got enough gold, I'm going to win on that basis. I just want to stop them building more troops. So you can see I'm now sending multiple attacks to go and take out their, uh, one of their troop buildings, uh, troop creation buildings. Now you'll see when I hit that, it shrunk. And now when they hit it back, it's going to shrink again. What I've done by taking it once, I couldn't hold it, I had nowhere near enough troops to hold it, but I've just smashed it once, and they've smashed it once, and that's massively reduced their troop building capacity. So you don't need to take and hold their, uh, their castles, you do just need to take them. They've now had to spend a lot of troops to upgrade, and I've you know, lost fewer troops than they're going to lose from having to do those upgrades, and the extra troops they can't create. Also, out of interest, had they just done those, that increase, I could have then now gone and attacked them. They've burned a bunch of troops. It's probably nearly empty. So I could have gone and taken it back immediately. So if you hit it once and they rebuilt it, think about going and hitting it again. So, yep, I've had all the gold. They were fighting me, not fighting for the gold. So they just missed the objective. Okay, so now this is the third last mission. Um, partway through, I've already taken some of the tiles at the bottom, I think, if I recall. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm going to wipe out the purples before I attack the reds. It's always really handy to create sort of an area, a zone you control. Destroy one player and then go after the other one where you've got multiple players. You should also think about the fact that you need to get the shields on this mission. So there's one in the bottom, one in the middle, one at the top. So if you are, yeah, at this minute I've got two of them already, if I get the third one, this is all over. So one big march, all gathered together, going after that tower, could well end it fast. Problem with that is you need to walk across those flame towers, and they're pretty dangerous, you can lose a lot of troops, so I'm going to go around the outside. You see I'm going to skirt round to the right, and then to the left, and it will save me having to walk through the flame towers. Now, also, I'm bringing reinforcements from below. So really important, if you've got loads of castles, it can be easy to forget, loads of troops building down there, keep moving them up to the front lines. They're much less likely to attack your further away castles than your close ones. So you want to hold those close ones, and the ones at the back, they've got a lot of flame towers to protect them as well. So actually, probably worthwhile. So that one is again focusing on your objectives. This one as well, as you'll see on the second last mission, Nightmare this is, I've got gold in this one. I need to get hold of these gold facilities and hold them for longer than the enemy. And it's the right hand side. There's none on the left, it's only on the right. So there's no point taking the ones on the left. They're just gonna kill your troops, those flame towers, and you're not gonna hit your strategic objectives. So go right and uh, keep moving your recipient you see how i'm moving all my reinforcements up i'm not cutting corners i'm taking them from tower to tower to make sure i avoid flame towers i'm going to bring up those reinforcements and then i'll be ready to push to take them down there are two ways to win get all the gold or take them all down first so i think in this case i forget if i get enough gold in time yeah they're going to go off and do some other stuff so that's fine i'm holding the gold towers they'll be very hard to take now with the number of troops i've got here but hitting the enemy that's also really powerful it slows them down it reduces their number of troops so 
keeps them busy. I'm bringing up those reinforcements. You see at the bottom, I'm constantly bringing up those new reinforcements so that they're not trapped at the bottom of the map, doing nothing at all. Now you can see my gold's coming up fast, and I'm just going to carry on taking out the baddies, keep streaming down that right side, it's safe, no flames. Keep taking them down, keep pushing them. Did you see I could have sent troops from my 9 castle at the bottom, nearly bottom left, straight to the 24 and I would have cut across the flame tower, so really important, don't cut. If you don't have to and you don't have to lose those troops, take a little bit longer, save the troops. Now I'm streaming in, I'm about to win by gold and I could also have won with towers in a very small amount of time. Now this is the final mission, this is actually really tough this one, you'll find you're going to lose a lot of towers, they're going to take them, you're going to take them back. So you need to keep keep your strategic objectives in mind. This one, you need to defeat them all. So you need to stay in the fight, keep your troop for production facilities going, and hurt the opposition. It can be really easy to constantly focus on protecting what you've got, but at the end of the day, taking their towers will actually give you more troops than your towers, which may have been trashed two or three times. You can see now they're coming in, the greens are taking my towers, me taking those back, actually, not that important. The only thing I've got in my advantage is that shield tower. I want to keep that. That's the only one on the map. And uh, also, I just need to send these troops to go and destroy their towers. I'm now taking on the greens. I'm going to try and separate the greens, destroy them, and then focus on the rest. So I've now got a strong base in the green territory. And I can now start to worry about the purples before I worry about the red. So try not to take one tower off each one. You'll find that you're still getting hit from loads of sides. So I like to separate them, go after one, take them down. And now I've been rebuilding my troops, ready for an assault. I'm going to now try and work my way down the map. Create my own zone of power where they're less likely to attack. And now I'm getting my reserves ready to try and take out the purple. You see purple's taking out red, that's fine, I don't care about them fighting each other, they don't normally fight each other, so that's actually handy for me, let them kill each other. Now I'm building up all my reserves, bring them into a single castle ready to strike. Better if you can do it that way, you can bring in reserves from elsewhere, but it's quicker to, uh, or better to have them all land at the same time, however you might not be able to in this case. So I'm in, I've taken it, I've now hurt them. Okay, so now I'm uh, taking on the purples, taking back the ones that they've taken from me. Interestingly, that might not have been the best plan. It might have been better to go after their, their towers first, so I was hurting them rather than taking on a tower which is half the strength and not uh, destroying their creation ability. They've got more soldiers than I have right now, 190 to 145. So, you know, not ideal, but I can still uh, still fix that. So you'll see now I'm bringing marches from all my castles to take on one of theirs. Didn't have enough in one potentially, however, I've gone in, I've now taken it, I'm going to reinforce it, now I need to move through them fast. The more damage I can do to them, the uh, slower their ability to build troops. So I'm moving in now. They countered that attack, but that's fine. I can still send reinforcements, I just need to take that tower, boom, it's now gone down a level. Massively smashed their ability to build troops. They're also now fighting with the reds, which is perfect. I'm happy for them to do that. All right, so now gathering my reinforcements and ready to uh, do the most dangerous hit. This is what's going to break the purple team. Taking out their main production facility, they're basically out of the game. They've got two little castles and they're going to be you know, easy takings. Easy takings indeed. Yep, so I've taken the first one, now if I move down take the next one, I can now start bringing all my reinforcements from across the map, ready to take on the reds. I've not hit them yet, but they're about to uh, they're about to feel the, uh, feel the attack. I've got twice their troops. Now all I need to do is make sure I, uh, I take them down, do them some damage, and with my top half of the map, took two thirds of the map, yeah, this is, uh, this is all over by the singing now. So now I'm putting them together for a massive hit, 130 odd troops. Now you'll notice I've actually got 75% rather than 100% at the bottom for my uh, number of troops I send. I like that setting, it means I always leave a few troops behind to defend, and uh, if, you sit, if you do 100% you always empty it and you've got zero castles and they're 
they're too easy. Even a handful of troops can defend uh, reasonably well behind a castle wall. And there we go. So I've taken them all down and uh, that is all of the missions now completed on the hardest mode. We also see that I had to uh, you know, get up that get those rewards, 700 gems, and some extra stuff for my uh, for my game, and I actually had one update I hadn't done yet for my army strength, and that has now completed. So I am English Tim. Thanks for watching my video. Hopefully you found something helpful in there. Then do check out my uh, my War and Order playlist. Hopefully something else there will be good. And if you are enjoying my content, hit that subscribe button, click on the notification bell, and you get updated about my upcoming videos. Also, if you are a new player and you've started after November 2021, the 29th, then I have a gift code you can use. If you go to your Lord profile at the top left, and then if you go to your exchanged GIF, then the code is English Tim with a capital E and a capital T, no space in the middle. Hopefully you'll get some good stuff. Thanks for watching today.